I'm Lindsay Baumgren of Nourish Me Love, and this is your 30-minute chair workout. Now, we are hitting full body strength and cardio from a seated position because I'm recovering from meniscus surgery. I tore my meniscus. If you're in a similar boat or maybe you just want to work out from a seated position today, come work out with us and hit subscribe to our YouTube channel. All right, you guys, strength and cardio from the chair. We're going to hit every muscle head to toe in 30 minutes. Let's knock it out. I have with me some dumbbells today and my box right here. And then I also have an ankle weight I might be throwing on at some point to increase the intensity of um, making these legs work. All right, so that's what we're doing today. Your workout looks like this. you got four circuits. Each circuit has three moves, arms, legs, core, and cardio, okay? So we're gonna raise that heart rate with move number three. You're gonna do each exercise for 30 seconds of work, followed by 10 seconds of rest. Repeat at times three sets, 30 minutes, in and out, boom. Whether you got a knee injury, an ankle injury, maybe you just wanna work out from a seated position because it feels good for you, we are gonna do it together. So let's get this party started with a good warm up. This is my surgery leg. It's gonna stay locked out straight because it has to. You can bend your knees, go for it. If you wanna have straight legs, you can make that work too, okay? You do you today. We're all about making it work in whatever season of life we are in, right? Making lemons out of lemon, lemons? Lemonade? Making lemonade out of lemons, you know, something like that. All right, let's warm up. Okay, I'm in a seated position. Go ahead and just take a couple shoulder rolls. Just inhale, exhale, little little goose frabo, whatever season of life you're going through. We could all use some good shoulder rolls and deep breathing. Okay, let's move on. Here we go. Reach and reach. Nice work. Just reach and reach. Get that body moving. It feels good to move. Even if you've got an injury, you do what you can. My motto is do your best, forget the rest. That's what I am sticking to in this season of life, especially. All right, bring it right here. You're going to take hands behind the head. We're going to go good morning. So you're going to hinge and up. So we're warming up that spine, the low back. Tell you what, I got three kids ages five and under. We run a business. We moved in the last week. Like life has just been wild, but you make it work, right? Knee injury and all, we are here. Not exactly the timing I wanted to tear my meniscus, but we're here and we're gonna do our best. I'd love to hear why you're here. If you have an injury, I wanna hear about it. I wanna know where you're at in your recovery process. I'm three weeks post-surgery. Nice, give me two more right here. I love working out with you guys and finding out more about people who are injured. It's just so interesting. Maybe you're not injured. Maybe you have something else that's bringing you here today. Love to hear about it, okay? So you're going to take one hand to the ground. Other hand's going to reach overhead. And then you're going to switch it out. Opposite hand to the ground. Reach overhead. And reach. You're going to do one more each way. Nice. Reach. And reach. Awesome job. From here, come up. You're just going to flap those arms. Flap it, flap it, flap it. We're going to go into some straight leg lifts. So I'm going to slightly hinge back and use my hands right here. Take both legs out, and I'm just going to lift my right leg and lift my left leg, if you're able to do that, okay? So I'm flexing through that quad, engaging it, straight leg lifts. I said I'm going to have some killer hip flexors after this leg, after this knee injury, right? Killer hip flexors. Nice work. Activating that quad, still getting it to fire here even from this limited straight leg position. Nice. You're gonna go for four, go for three, go for two, and go for one. Nice, from here you're gonna hinge over and you're gonna take those arms, thumbs are gonna go up. You're gonna go straight up, 45 to the side. Straight up, 45 to the side. Nice work, go straight up, 45 to the side. Nice work, Up. warming up the spine, the shoulders, the back and core, nice. One more, one more, straight up, 45 to the side. Nice work, now I'm gonna go back to those straight legs and I'm gonna go opposite hand, opposite toe, opposite hand, opposite toe, lift. You can always bend at the knee if you need to. That would shorten the lever, make it a little bit easier so you could be right there, nice. I can't do that, I can't bend my surgery leg. So we're gonna keep both legs straight and go for it. Nice, right there, go eight, go seven, go six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's raise that heart rate. Are you ready? You're going to sit up nice and tall and you're just going to run. So you're going to pump those arms. You maybe even get a little bounce in there. <laughs> There's still a way to raise your heart rate, even from a seated position. I've been doing these seated runners and my husband's like, what are you doing? I'm like, you just worry about yourself. I'm just going to be over here doing my seated runners, getting my heart rate high, finding my endorphins for the day. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. Come on. You got it. Pump those arms for eight, seven, six. We're going to punch it out in four, three, two, and one. Here we go. You're going to go one, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, up, 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 two,
two, three, four, back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, punch it out. Come on, put something behind those punches. Yes, you got it. Go eight, seven, six, you got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Are you warm? I hope so. We're gonna jump into circuit number one. It is legs, biceps, and shoulders, okay? So your first move is the upper body. Upper body. I'm gonna grab my lighter weights to start with. It's a challenging move. I'm gonna sit up here on the edge of my chair. You give me one lat raise, half curl, two punches. It looks like this. Lat raise, half curl, punch right, punch left, okay? That is your move. You're gonna do it for 30 seconds of work, 10 seconds of rest, and you're gonna go right into, we'll start with our right leg, okay? I'm in my right leg. Actually, I'll start with her left leg because I'll show you the full move. You're gonna lift and kick down. Now you can place a weight right here if you want to. Lift, kick, down. So it's a leg lift with an extension. Obviously can't do that on my other leg, so I'm just gonna do a leg lift. But we're gonna stay right on that right leg the entire time. We'll do the left leg next, okay? Let's go for the lat raise, half curl, two punches. 30 seconds in three, two, let's go. So it's lat raise, half curl, punch right, punch left. 30 seconds, here we go. So Shoulders, biceps, shoulders. Nice, take it down. Shoulders, biceps, shoulders, nice. On that raise, can you think about leading with your pinkies? Curl up halfway, punch, punch, nice. Take it down, lead with the pinkies. Curl up and punch, punch, nice work. You got it, right here. You got five, four, three, two, and one. Those 30 seconds go fast. I'm gonna take one weight, I'm gonna place it right here. On my left leg, I'm gonna lift up, kick out, and take it down in three, two, let's go. Lift and kick, nice. You can just, I'm not even gonna tap it. I'm just gonna hover and up. I'm gonna keep constant tension on this leg. Really think about flexing the quad as you kick out, squeeze the quad, that's your thigh. Squeeze right there, down, up, kick it out. Down, up, kick it out. It might feel easy the first set, but let me tell you, when we get to set number three, you're gonna be like, whoo! I feel it, I feel it. From here, we're gonna crank up that heart rate in three, two, and one. I'm gonna hold this weight right here. I'm gonna sit back and push, sit back and push, sit back and push. Car and core and cardio in three, two, let's go. Take it down, up, push. Sit back, curl, press. Sit back, curl, press. Sit back, curl, push. You're gonna move at your pace, your tempo. Nice, so you see my working leg? I'm gonna kick it out, kick out, bring it in and push. Kick out, bring it in and push. This is core and cardio. Core and cardio, nice. You can still raise that heart rate even from a seated position. Let's go for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work from the top, guys, from the top. Lat raise, half curl, and two punches. You get two more sets of it. You ready? We go in three, two, let's go. Lat raise, nice. Up, punch, punch. Ooh, I'm gonna mix it up. I'm gonna punch with my left arm first this time. Mix it up on you. Punch, punch. So we go arms, we go legs, we go core and cardio, and it's got a 10 second rest in between, which is not long, which means that heart rate is gonna stay elevated. Woo! Strength training at a high intensity pace with limited rest. 10 seconds, guys, come on. Punch it out. We're going back to that left leg in three, two, and one. I'm gonna place that dumbbell back on my left leg, same thing. I'm gonna lift and kick. Just gently gonna support that weight so it doesn't fall off my leg. In three, two, let's go. Lift and kick, 30 seconds. Up and kick. Just gently tapping down and kick. Think about squeezing that quad. Nice, you're gonna feel your core turn on right here too. Slight sit back, feel that core turn on. <sighs> nice work right here. Kick it out. Now you don't have to do this with weight, you could do this with just body weight. I have a lighter ankle weight you could place above the knee, or you could place it below the knee. You could get real aggressive and place an ankle weight on as well. Nice, three, two, and one. I'm doing that the next time I do this. I'm putting an ankle weight right there. Here we go, it's the sit back, curl, press, sit back, curl, press, sit back, curl, press, in three, two, let's go, let's go. Sit back, curl, punch. Sit back, curl, punch. Nice work, sit back, curl, punch. You got it, come on. It's meant to raise your heart rate, yes? Right here, let's go. Can you pick up the intensity for move number three? Push it, you got this, woo! Come on, you got 10 seconds here, 10 seconds here. Make it count. Pick up the pace for five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job. 
Okay, guys, one more time through all three of those exercises. One more time, and then we move on. So let's go ahead and grab that other weight. Lat raise, half curl, two punches in three, two. Let's go, let's go. Lat raise, half curl, jab right, jab left. Nice work. Lat raise, half curl, jab, jab. You are crushing this. Come on. Yes, you are. Circuit number one. Knock it out, knock it out. Ah, get it up. Half curl. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? Yes, you can. Right here. Stick with me for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, nice work. Last time, I'm gonna place that weight on that left leg. We're gonna do the right leg next. All right, the lift with the extension if you have that capacity. In three, two, let's go lift and kick. Nice, tap, lift, kick, down. Awesome, job. Low abs turn on, hip flexors turn on, quads turns on. Think about really driving that heel to me. Drive that heel, kick it, nice. Can you hold and squeeze? Right there, hold and squeeze. You got it, 10 seconds left right here. Come on, 10 seconds, yes you can. For five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, you guys. All right, you ready? Last time, sit back, curl, press. Last time, sit back, curl, press. We go in three, in two. Let's go, let's go. Sit back, curl, push. Sit back, curl, push. Raising the heart rate by pressing the weights overhead. Woo, you got it. Come on, find the level of intensity you can give me today and get after it. Whatever you got, come on, whatever's bringing you down today to this seated position, maybe it's a leg injury, an ankle injury, maybe you just wanna work out from a seated position, that's awesome. You're here, you're doing it for five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome work, you guys, so stinking proud of you. That closes out circuit one, let's grab a drink before we move on to circuit two, which is legs and back, my personal two favorite muscle groups to work. We're gonna go for a bent over back fly. And then we're gonna do that same thing on the other leg. I'm gonna avoid the weight and I'm just gonna do a single leg lift right here. Flexing my quad, this is my surgery leg. Just trying to work on reactivating my quad here. Maybe I'll throw an ankle weight on it. All right, and then we're gonna go back to those punches. Back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. That we did in the warm up. R, you ready, bent over back fly, woo! Grab those weights you wanna use, you're gonna hinge over and you're gonna fly right there for 30 seconds, yes? We go in three, two, hinge it over and fly, fly, nice. Fly, awesome job. Again, think about leading with that pinky. Awesome job, lead with the pinky. You got it. Now, if these weights are too heavy for you, you could always go to an alternating fly too. You could fly one arm, then fly the other arm. I might be there. Ooh, this is challenging for me. Tell you what, you realize how hard isolated upper body exercises are when you take your legs out of the equation. Five, four, three, two, and one. Set the weights down. If you wanna add a weight, I'm gonna add an ankle weight. Maybe I'm just gonna slap that across my leg right here, like this. And I'm gonna do leg lifts right there. Leg lifts in three, two, let's go. So this is where I'm at. If you have the good leg, remember, you're doing a lift and a kick. Down, a lift and a kick. If you got an ankle injury, I think you can still do that. If you have to keep your leg locked out straight like me, you're really focusing on activating that quad. Quad sets, quad sets, quad sets. If you've had a knee injury, you've heard the term quad sets. Let's go. Quad sets, come on. It's really about controlling the lower too, right? You gotta lift up, control the lower. For three, two, and one. Nice work. From here, you're gonna go back and you're gonna go back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, back, two, three, four. Working the core and cardio. In three, two, let's go, let's go. Back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four. Nice work. I like working out on something that doesn't have a chair back on it. That's just my personal preference because I really wanna challenge my core and my range of motion right here. Nice. So I'm going all the way back, all the way up, challenging that core. There's nothing stopping me. I gotta control it. Come on, punch it out right here for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. We're gonna do those same moves again. All right? Oh no. Got a count of my leggings there. All right, here we go. Back fly, back fly, 30 seconds in three, in two. Let's go, so you're gonna fly. Come on, and fly. Nice work, nice work. It's about squeezing those shoulder blades together and really controlling the weights on the way down. Not letting those weights just fall down, you control it. Control it up, control it down. Come on, you got 30 seconds. 
to dig into those back and shoulders. 10 seconds left. It should start to feel challenging right here. Stick with me for five, four, three, two. You're gonna give me one more, because you can. Woo, holy bananas. Challenging upper body moves. Let me tell you, I'm gonna take that weight, place it here again. I'm gonna give you the straight leg lift. In three, two, let's go. Lift, nice. Lift, putting the weight above the knee. There's less stress on the knee. If you're cleared by your PT, maybe you can go below the ankle. You do you, I'm about three weeks post-surgery. Still trying to be a super rock star patient to my physical therapist, right? I can do these leg lifts without my knee brace. That's a big upgrade. And then I can do them where I turn my toes out, get a little bit more inner thigh right there. Love to hear why you're here today. Come on, you got four, three, two, and one. Awesome job from here. It's the punches, the punches. This time we're gonna go up, two, three, four, center, two, three, four, up, and three. Two, let's go. Punch up, two, three, four, center, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, center, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, center, two, three, four. Knock it out today, guys. Whatever you got. Come on. Yes, you can. Maybe you're a little bit angry about your injury. Maybe you haven't fully accepted it yet. What stage of grief are you in? Are you in <laughs> denial? Are you in acceptance? Are you in anger? This is, if you're in anger right here, punch it out, punch it out, punch it out. No better way to get that anger out then just keep moving, nice, you're done. Woo, that went fast, last time. Last time, bent over back fly. Last time on the fly, last time on the leg lift, last time on the punches, in three, two, let's go, let's go. Up, people are like, she's crazy, what do you mean stages? I'm serious, like, didn't you feel, when I got injured, I feel like I went through these stages of like, I was like, nope, it's fine, denial. And then I was like, okay, I accept it. I'm really sad. I can't play with my kids like I want to. It was really hard. And now I feel like I'm finally like, okay, I accept it. I'm here, 10 seconds. I'm just gonna show up, do my best, forget the rest. You got it. Come on, stay with me for five, four, three, two, and one. Challenging. Woo, that's where it should be. It should be challenging, all right? Nice work. I'm gonna put that ankle weight above my leg again. We're gonna do straight leg lifts in three. Two, let's go. Nice, lift. And lift. Awesome job. I don't know about you, every time I show up at physical therapy, I'm like, how's my quad strength? How we doing? <laughs> right? Continuing to try and get that quad to fire any way I can. It's a great way to do it, this straight leg lift. Also feel like I'm gonna have hip flexors of steel after this injury. 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds. Keep moving. One more chance to punch it out and raise that heart rate in five, four, three. Two and one, awesome job. Last time to punch it out. I'm gonna stick with those center punches. You can go up high, then you can go down low. You do you, we go in three, two, let's go, let's go. Back, two, three, four, up, two, three, four, back, two, three, four, up. Come on, punch it out, knock it out, knock it out. Yes, you can, Woo. Just keep moving, just keep punching. Right here, you got it, let's go down. Come on. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? Go 10, go nine, eight, seven, six. You got it. Five, four, three, two. Last set all the way up and you're out. Nice work. Woo. Two circuits down. All right. Right. These are not your average chair workouts, guys. I was like scouring YouTube, trying to find workouts that challenged me with a knee injury. Couldn't find them. So we're making our own and we are making them challenging, right? Here we go. Circuit number three. Legs and chest, okay? So now, I'm gonna go off my box and rest my upper back on here. If you don't have that capacity, this is where you could use a chair with a chair back. You could lean back and perform an incline chest press. An incline chest press, okay? I'm gonna go off my box and challenge myself. I love this super set. It's one I've been doing often, so I'm gonna come over to the side of my box here so you can see me a little bit better. Wiggle my way around. Nice, okay. So I'm gonna come down. I'm gonna make my working leg my good leg work a little bit for me. I'm gonna keep my upper back and shoulders right there, right here. I'm gonna rest them on the box and I'm gonna do a chest press for 30 seconds in three, two, let's go. Down and up. I'm gonna get real comfy in this position. We're gonna hang out here for most of the circuit. It's gonna be challenging, right? Cause not only is my chest working here on the chest press, I'm also forcing my good leg to support me here. My glute, my hamstring, it's also gonna fire. I'm gonna get a little extra work in this set right here. Nice work. You got it guys, 10 seconds here on that chest press, 10 seconds here. You could always do that incline press, do what you can do. Do what you can do, come on, five, four, 
three, two, and one. I'm gonna take those weights and set them off to the side of me. I'm gonna stay right here. I'm gonna slightly hinge up because I really need to cinch. I need to tuck my ribs down into my hips. Single leg hip thrust, lift and lower. Lift and lower, 30 seconds, let's go. Okay, we take this to a single leg glute bridge on the ground. I'm using my good leg to lift me up right here. Down, up, nice. Squeezing through that glute and hamstring right there, nice. Really thinking about decreasing the air between my hips and my ribs. Don't let that rib flare happen. Keep those ribs nice and tight. You got it. Let's go. It's five, four, three, two, and one. Nice, I'm gonna wiggle my way back up to this box. There we go. Those seated runners that we did in the warm-up, you're gonna do those right here. You're just gonna run. You're gonna pump it out in three, two. Let's go, you're gonna train and raise your heart rate by just pumping those arms. Get them moving, get them moving. Maybe you wanna add those ankle weights right into your hands and hold one. Maybe you wanna hold some two pound dumbbells, some soup cans. You do you. I'm getting a little booty bounce. See my little booty bounce happening? My knee still feels okay. It's nice and secure in my brace. Woo. Just trying to raise that heart rate for 10, nine. Come on, yes you can. Move those arms, yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice work guys. It's round two, round two, back to chest press. Okay, again, you can always do the incline on the chair. I'm gonna move myself down, upper body supported on my bench. We go in three, two, let's go. Chest press right here, down up. Come on, come on. Yes, you can. Nice work. Yes. One rep, one rep at a time. Inhale down, exhale up. Use your breath to help push those weights up overhead. If you can't do push-ups right now, this is a great alternative. Keep that chest nice and strong so you can return to those push-ups with some strength. Come on, you got it. Five, four, three, two, and one. I'm gonna set my weights down. All right, back to down up, single leg. I'm gonna try and make it harder. I'm gonna try and keep my non-good leg lifted for the quad extension. We go in three, two. Make sure you first decrease the air right here. Tuck those ribs down. Up. So now I'm working this quad and this glute hamstring. Quad is turned on here. Glute hamstring is turned on here. Holy bananas, does that increase the intensity? Woo, I feel it. You should see my legs are shaking right here. 10 seconds, guys, yes, you can. Down up for five, four, three, two, and one. Holy bananas, did I feel that one? That definitely increased the intensity. Wiggle my way up <laughs> to a seated position. Right here, we're gonna run it out. Pump those arms in three. Two, let's pump those arms, run it, come on. Run it, run it, run it, run it, run it. Yes, you can. Do your best with what you have. This is your chance to raise your heart rate. Come on, push, push. You're an athlete. Even though you are in a seated position, you are strong and you are athletic. Let's go, do what you can right here. Push it, push it. 10 seconds, guys, 10 seconds. Bring it home, let's go. Right here, bring up that intensity for five, four, three, two, one. Awesome work, team. One more round, you guys. One more round. Chest press, hip thrust, runners. Come on, let's go. Get those weights up. Chest press in three, two, let's go. Down up. See, this is why it's that second move. That hip thrust is hard because my quad and my glute are already turned on right now. Woo. And then I'm gonna keep them working. It's really like one minute of time under tension for the glutes and the quads, which is good because my muscles and my legs are deteriorating rapidly. It is crazy how long it takes to build muscle and how quick you lose it, right? It's a humbling experience. It's gonna make us all stronger. Three, two, and one. We're gonna come out of this, you guys. We're gonna come back from these injuries, physically stronger and mentally stronger. Yes, I'm gonna lift that leg again. Three, two, don't let those ribs flare right here. I'm gonna place my hands, let's go. Place my hands right around my ribs so I make sure I don't let them flare. Keep them nice and tight. Ah quads, glutes, hammies. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm gonna get a butt cramp over here. Woo, it's working, I feel it. Yes, you can. What would it look like if I said 10, nine, eight, you got it, seven, stay with me, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Holy bananas, <laughs> oh, we feel it. We feel it, Whew. All right, back up to that seated position. Let's run it, guys, for the final time. In three, two, let's run, let's run. Bum, 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 come on. 
Whew. Envision yourself. Visualization is like a super powerful tool. I was in so much pain those first couple days post-surgery. I would visualize like healing energy coming in, red light pain leaving my leg, and I swear it helped. So now I'm visualizing myself. I'm hoping to get back to running after this knee injury. I'm visualizing myself just hitting the pavement, me, my feet, and my breath for five, four, three, two, and one. And I'm gonna be so stinking grateful on that first run. Let me tell you, it's gonna be awesome, you guys. All right, grab some water. You are three circuits down, last circuit. This is only four circuits, okay? Last circuit is legs and triceps, legs and triceps. Uh, no, none other than tricep dips. So we're gonna go tricep dips if you are capable. If you're not capable because of your surgery leg or your injury, you're gonna give me overhead triceps, okay? You're gonna stay seated. One dumbbell right here, down, up for 30 seconds, okay? I am gonna do tricep dips on the box, because I can. And then I'm gonna take this ankle weight, and I'm gonna place it on my surgery leg. And we're gonna make that surgery leg work, hamstrings and glutes, by coming up onto my box, okay, right here. I'm gonna perform bent over, I'm just gonna lift. So I'm gonna balance on my good leg. I'm gonna lift my bad leg right there, okay? So if you have a bad leg, great option that you can still do, all right? So that's what we're gonna do. You know what, I'm just gonna put ankle weights on both my legs because we're gonna come to a core exercise after that and I'm just gonna make it hard. Make it hard, do your best, forget the rest, right? We're gonna make it as hard as we can make it today. We are in it to win it. Tricep dips, tricep dips. I'll come over here. All right, tricep dips. You can do them great if you can't, overhead triceps. If you can dip it, I'm just basically placing a little bit of weight right here on my heel and then I'm dipping for 30 seconds. Yes, we go in three, two, let's dip, let's dip. Down, up, down, up, nice. Think about nice long neck. Keep those shoulders out of the ears. Nice flat back, neutral spine. Bend, extend, bend, extend. Drive through the palms of your hands. Drive through the palms of your hands, push up. Bend, extend, shoot those elbows straight back towards that wall behind you. Yes, you can. 10 seconds here, down, up, down, up. Go for five, four, three, two. Give me one more and you're out. Nice work. I'm gonna come over into that standing position. All right, I'm gonna use this box to support me. I'm gonna bend over. My bad leg is gonna lift right there. Heels to the heavens in three, two. Let's go, I'm keeping my back leg straight. Just lifting, up. Firing the glute and hamstring. So that hip thruster, we got my glute and hamstring on my good leg. Now we're gonna get the glute and hamstring on my bad leg right here. A little standing bent over leg lift. You can always take this from a bird dog position. You can always, you, of course you do not need the ankle weight. Make sure you are cleared by your physical therapist for that. I am with my brace on. Nice work, thinking about lifting that heel up. Three, two, and one. Nice work. Okay, challenging move right here with ankle weights. Let's see if I can do it. We did it in the warm up. Opposite toe, opposite hand. In three, two, let's go. Opposite toe, opposite hand. Boom, core, boom, core. Come on, come on. Yes, nice work. You got this team. Opposite hand, opposite toe, boom, boom. Come on, keeping those hands above my head. Keep that heart rate high. Yes, 10 seconds here. Let's go, you got it. Stay in it for five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work, team. Back to triceps, dip it or overhead extensions. You do what you can do today. Dip it or tricep extensions. Yes, 30 seconds in three, two. Let's go, let's go. Bend, extend, down, up. Shoot those elbows straight back. Nice work, come on. It's only 30 seconds, you can do. Anything for 30 seconds, yes you can. Especially when you put it into <laughs> perspective of your injury, right, recovery time. You can do anything for 30 seconds, that's nothing compared to three months, six months, nine months. We're gonna do it though, right? One day at a time, right here. One rep at a time for three, two, and one. Nice work, guys. Standing bent over position. Bad leg is gonna lift, heel to the heaven, straight leg lift in three, two. Let's go, I'm keeping a nice soft bend in my standing leg. Lifting my heel to the heaven. Nice work. Really controlling the lower. Keeping that core nice and tight. You got it, you got it. Nice work team, stay with it. Like I said, right? One rep at a time. Break down your recovery one day at a time. Make it a lot easier than focusing on that long haul. 
Okay, it's a marathon, not a sprint. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome job, opposite hand, opposite toe, hello core. Opposite hand, opposite toe, hello core. Sit back, brace that core. We go in three, two, let's go opposite hand, opposite toe. Boom, boom. Nice work, woo, these ankle weights add just that little something extra, let me tell you. Nice work, guys. Stay with it, right here. 30 seconds at a time, you got this. Boom, boom, how straight can you keep those legs? Can you reach that toe for 10, nine? Nice work, team, we got it. Final five, four, three, two, and one. Woo. One more time through triceps. One more time through, guys. Triceps, leg lifts, core. Come on, triceps, leg lift, core. Let's finish it, let's finish strong in three. Two, let's go, let's go. Down, up, down, up. This is it, guys. Third and final set. This is it for your workout. Whatever you got left, finish strong right here. Your 30 minute chair workout, strength and cardio. Yes, you can. Let's go. Stay with me. Woo! You got this. Come on. Yes, 10 seconds here. 10 seconds. Bring it home for five. Four, three, two, and one. Woo, holy bananas, triceps. Felt that, let me tell you. Rear leg lifts, rear leg lifts. If you got a bad leg, that's what you're using. In three, two, let's go. Lift, lift. Nice work, team. Lift, awesome job. Now, if you got two good legs and you're just doing this because you want to, you could always do one set on the right leg, one set on the left leg. Third set, you could alternate, okay? Third set, you could alternate. Woo, nice work. 10 seconds, guys. 10 seconds, stay in it. This in core, and you are done for today. Come on, five, four, three, two. Give me one more, because you can. Awesome work. Find that seated position. Find that seated position. Opposite toe, opposite hand. Last move of today. Knock it out in three, two, let's go. Boom, boom. This is it. Bring it home. You got this, yes you do. Right here, stay with me. Nice work, team. I love it, so strong, so stinking strong. That's what you are, right here. What would it look like if I said 10 more seconds? Yes, you can. Just keep lifting, right here. For five, four, three, two, and one awesome job, you guys. I am so stinking proud of you for showing up today and getting it done no matter your circumstances. So proud. All right, quick cool down, quick cool down. You can take those ankle weights off if you got them on. Quick cool down and you are out of here. Way to go. Let's go ahead and just flap out those wings. So proud of you, you did awesome today. Just hold the right arm across the body, drop the shoulder and roll up the wrist, gaze across to the right side. Nice, let's go ahead and reach straight up. Take it straight down, little tricep stretch right there for that tricep we worked at the end, those dips. And then you can give a little side body lean. That feels good. Nice, right, take it down, flap it out again. Let's go, left arm across, drop the shoulder, roll up the wrist, gaze across that left shoulder. Nice work. Way to just show up, right? Up overhead, reach for the middle of the back. Stretch out that tricep, take a gentle little lean over to the right side. Nice. Awesome work. Right here, we're gonna go. Train those legs, we're gonna do a nice forward fold. Forward fold, oh, that feels so good. Nice, now take your left hand to your right shoe and just open it up, gentle little rotation. Take the right hand to the left shoe, little gentle twist. That feels really good. Nice work, you guys, awesome job. Roll it back up. If you are capable, you can plant your hands right here and give me a little like reverse tabletop. Just spread the chest apart, really think about opening your chest and shoulders. If that doesn't work for you, go ahead and just take a chest expansion right here, pulling the knuckles away from the tailbone, opening it up. Nice, wherever you're at, just bring yourself back to that seated position. Go ahead, flap those wings one more time. Take two big shoulder rolls, up, back and down. Up, back and down. Big inhale, big exhale. You did it. Nice work. I'm proud of you, and I'd love to see you back here for more workouts at nourishmovelove.com. Have a great day. If you enjoyed this seated workout, I'd love to sweat with you again. So smash that subscribe button so you can come back for more workouts. And if you want another add-on to this workout, you can check out this seated workout right here or find our entire library of seated exercises in this playlist right here. Have a great day.